Hey everyone, this is 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with a Weather Now update on this Thursday afternoon. And uh, we have a lot to talk about as our weather will be getting quite unsettled as we go through later on tonight and of course into our Friday. First, here's a look outside. This is Newport. It's cloudy, it's gray, and uh, our temperatures are on the chilly side. They're near 40 degrees. Same deal out here in the capital city of Providence. Again, cloudy and gray. Temperatures uh, give or take around 40 degrees by a degree or two. Some spots are cooler than others. And as we go uh, into our temperatures, you can see that, you know, New Bedford's checking in at 44, Smithfield's 39, Newport 41. So it is a, you know, a range of upper 30s to about mid 40s uh, at the current time. But what we are tracking, of course, is the wind, the rain, the warm temperatures, and then the cold temperatures. So high wind, uh, high wind warning in effect for all of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts for gusts of 50 to 65 miles per hour. Very gusty at times. You want to tie down any of those outdoor decorations, uh, do any shopping that you have, get those done, uh, get that done today. And uh, as you go further west into Connecticut, those winds will also be strong as well with a wind advisory in place there. Coastal flood warning as well, and the areas all along the coastline shaded in red, uh, especially during high tide, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Uh, for one to two feet of uh, inundation there. And also excessive rain threat. We're looking at maybe one, two, three inches of rain coming through as those heavy downpours make their way through later tonight into Friday. That's that green shading that you see there on your screen covering much of the area with that heavy rainfall threat. So pre-storm checklist for today, as I mentioned, you know, run those errands, finish any of the shopping, charge your devices in the event of a power outage, and also uh, secure those outdoor holiday decorations as well. So what to expect for tonight into Friday and Friday night. Again, rainfall one to three inches, not seeing much of any snow with the system, but we could see some flakes on the back end as that cold air works its way in. And we could see a quick coating to a you know dusting or maybe even an inch of snow along the coastal areas. I'll show you that in just a second. But the primary focus is the rain and wind, winds gusting upwards of 50 to 65 miles per hour, strongest at the coast. And the impacts, of course, being street flooding, scattered power outages, and some coastal flooding. So let's take you through the wind gust forecast through Friday and into Friday evening, of course. You can see that purple shading is those stronger wind gusts. It kind of lets up a little bit. We're going to have two rounds of some you know, stronger, stronger winds come through. And uh, the second round will be with the Arctic front that brings in that colder air. So it'll be gusty all day long, though. Uh, but we'll see the highest gusts come through with that front as it makes its way through. Radar's quiet, wider view shows. Off to the west though, we have some precipitation coming through. And notice there's two L's on the screen. So there's the low pressure down off the Carolina coast, and then there's also one up in the upper Midwest. And these two storm systems are pretty much going to be converging and uh, becoming one uh, as we go through uh, the rest of the day and into tonight. And that's gonna pretty much give us uh, the two rounds of you know rain that we're looking at and the wind, and again, that wind threat the strongest one that i think will be with that uh, cold front coming through that's still over the midwest right now so we're gonna be tracking that over the next couple of days and notice this temperatures right now look how cold it is across the upper midwest you know, 15 below zero and this is the wind chill forecast so let's go through it again this is the feels like temperatures we'll go through this here through time and you can see it just comes right through from the midwest into the northeast we're going to be you know feeling like the mid 50s at some points on friday and then by saturday morning when you wake up it's going to feel like zero degrees outside. So that's going to be quite the change coming our way. Uh, hour by hour forecast, again, this is a primarily wet event for us. So we're looking at greens and yellows and oranges and reds coming through. And that's the heavier downpours coming through. And uh, that'll continue through much of Friday. It does look like the rain should at least somewhat let up during the afternoon and evening hours on Friday as colder air works in and dries things out temporarily. But don't be surprised to see some you know, snow flurries and snow showers, especially along the coast as uh, that uh, westerly wind kind of takes over. And uh, you can actually see on the model here, giving us a little bit of some snow activity, especially along the coastline. So might be enough to put a dusting, maybe a coating, maybe some spots could even get close to an inch of snow from this. Uh, here's that snowfall forecast uh, on the back end of this storm, by the way. Again, not much of a factor, but certainly enough to maybe coat the ground, especially along the south coast and out towards the Cape and Islands. So that's what we're looking at for the next 24 hours or so, a lot to get through. Of course, we'll have updates all day long and through the storm, of course, on right here on our website, WPRI.com, and also on air as well. So we'll have another update coming on later on this afternoon. But for now, thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you soon.